Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd down here at Advantage One RV where we've got a very lightweight little couples model, 4,520 pounds, and I do mean a true couples model because the previous owners took this little uh, Fun Finder 214, swapped out the dinette, and put a pair of recliners in it. Wait a minute. I know this camper. I know this camper. I saw this camper like two years ago. <laughs> I just realized that's why it looks so familiar. <laughs> now, don't make fun of me. I know I'm not always the brightest spoon in the crayon box. You would certainly think that when an RV has had a very specific aftermarket custom furniture configuration like this swapped in instead of the dinette that I saw maybe two years ago that I would remember. But <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> So yeah, the uh, I think the original owners, because this has had at least two previous owners, of which I'm aware of, there's no Carfax for camping, so I'll do my best here for you. They wanted a true couples camper. And if you look in the area of small travel trailers today, there's a ton suddenly of true couples models that have no bunks, that have no dinettes even, that are just sofas. And um, those didn't really used to exist a whole lot. So the folks made their own. They also, uh, they didn't take the microwave out. The original factory microwave failed. So what they did up here is they actually just turned it into a little uh, kind of power station. They swapped out the original outlet for a household and USB combo, which is actually kind of cool. And there's a lot of people that like, if you're boondocking, that microwave don't do any good for you. You add some kind of solar capacitor, you got a little portable inverter generator with one of these. This would be an awesome, lightweight, little boondocking opportunity right here, I think. And it has a very large, comfortable rear bathroom, uh, several feet deep, and it's a full eight foot wide bath. You notice over here some great linen space as well, uh, both a window and a vent above for a little bit of light and or airflow, plus the skylight. And you see the, uh, the large radius corner shower over here. Now, in conjunction with the vaulted ceiling, uh, even if you're a little bit taller than the average bear, you should be able to have some pretty decent headroom there. I would say this left wall was wasted, but that little towel bar right there, it kind of saves it. And I, I don't know, what would you, would you, would you even worry about putting anything down in that little corner right there? Angel soft, huh? Let's find out. I was certainly expecting softer. And some perspective for you, as we slide out of the bathroom there, from one of the recliners, this is kind of the view. Now, obviously you're primarily facing directly at the kitchen, but you can kind of turn that TV a little bit too, because that is in a, uh, a pivoting mount, and it's not real hard to also add a little swing arm to that. So you can make it a decent entertainment center. I think a little camper like this, you're gonna spend most of your time outside, and it has enough kind of at the camp inside survivability uh, to, to sort of make it through. And again, there's plenty of people who are like, I just don't need a big giant camper. This is all I need. It does have sliding privacy doors uh, hidden away behind that island entertainment, by the way. Ooh, a little look at me right there. I am so sorry. That's going to have to, we're going to have to mark this camper down now that you've, uh, I've been in the mirrors. That's going to devalue those. This is a camp queen. Uh, all joking aside, this is like a, a make or break point. I want to point out it's a camp queen. It goes right up against those doors right there. But one of the things that is really nice up here is not just the cross breeze windows, but that is a powered fan up in that vent. So if you wanted to just get some airflow moving, or if you just wanted to uh, upgrade to like a big vent fan, that's stuff we can help you with here. Give us a call. And it appears, um, as is often the case down here at Advantage One, previous owners are including some extras to go with it. It looks like their load, uh, load leveling anti-sway recurve R3, which is a sweet, sweet hitch. That's actually one of my personal preferences. Down the street at Halet RV, uh, if you start asking around the techs, the recurve series is the one they all like to go with because it has an adjustable sway control and it's not, I'm not gonna say silent, but it's a quiet system. Like if you pull into a park at night, if you've ever seen a traditional or not seen, but heard a traditional friction system, it sounds like a good beer cooler in that every time you turn, it goes Or if you got one of the old chain style, you're just sitting there and all of a sudden you hear pop, pop, pop. Like it, it just, it, it feels, sounds like gunshots or something going off. It's crazy. Um, there is 
some serious front passer capacity on this thing. And those are um, the uh, compression style uh, sort of slam lanches right there. And while I was busy talking about hitching, I don't want to gloss over the fact it's not just sun and shine. I, I do believe in shooting you straight on any opportunity that I have. This nose cap, unfortunately, has seen some significant sun fading. I don't attribute this to the previous ownership, though. Uh, as I recall, it was uh, like that when I first saw the RV a year or two ago. And that is most likely a result of the manufacturer not including UV inhibitors in that nose cap when it was first made. Um, RVs were like white skinned, white nose for a while, like that freedom spirit over there. That's just what campers looked like for a really long time. Um, and then all of a sudden here, the color packages started really coming back into the RV industry. And along with that, some, some aggressive nose cap colors came in. But when they first came in, right about the time this was made, they hadn't realized that sometimes you need to make sure you're putting some sunblock built into the nose cap basically, because otherwise, it will end up uh, fading and looking a little rough, just like that one did right there. Now over here, give you a little look at the tires. They are not aged out. They look really good. The other thing I wanna show you is not just the, uh, the, the tires, but the trail air shock dampener on this. So man, this is, this is gonna be a great lightweight, small size camper. You got a half ton or a big SUV, you wanna tow and go around, she'll take care of you. Man, I <laughs> go through this one again, feel like I, Feel like we're we're having deja vu over here. By the way, is it me? Is it it's it's one of those little things you hear people say deja vu all over again? Isn't that what deja vu is? Like ATM machine, automatic teller machine machine. But I say ATM machine. What am I talking about? Uh hey. <laughs> Thanks for watching.